Uh, kia ora, Noor, and welcome to Wellington Central Police Station. Uh, for those of you who haven't been here before, just to reiterate, uh, my name is, uh, well, I am Inspector Dion Bennett, uh, Acting District Commander for Wellington Police. I'm going to read a prepared statement and then I'll take uh, some questions following that. By way of a progress update, uh, earlier this afternoon, the scene at Loafers Lodge uh, has now been handed uh, to police by Fire and Emergency New Zealand. I'd like to take this opportunity to again extend my thanks to our partners at Fire and Emergency New Zealand for their work to ensure we have been able to safely access the building so quickly after this significant fire. I can advise that as we speak, a reconnaissance team has entered uh, Loafers Lodge and as the name suggests, they will be conducting an initial recon of the building, working to develop plans for a more extensive search uh, by our specialist, specialist staff, which we expect to commence tomorrow. The scene examination will be extensive and methodical, and we expect it to take some time, likely several days, given the large size of the building. However, I can confirm that we are treating the fire as arson. Alongside the scene examination, officers will be working uh, to locate and recover those who have lost their lives tragically in this fire. We know there are many people waiting for news of family and friends, including residents who escaped the fire and who are keenly waiting for news of their fellow tenants. I again want to provide the reassurance that we have a large number of officers working on this investigation with the aim of providing a swift uh, and timely uh, outcome and the answers that we all need. A number of officers spent the day yesterday at Newtown Park speaking to some of those residents who did evacuate. However, we are aware that not everyone went to Newtown Park yesterday or stayed there last night. And for those who didn't go to Newtown Park, we would still like to speak to them. Uh, we want to speak to those residents along with anyone else who may have information that may assist this investigation. Uh, we ask that people get in touch with us via a 10-5 uh, police non-emergency number referencing Operation Rose or to use the online reporting options portal uh, and select the node something else. Our scene guards will remain at Lopez Lodge uh, overnight as they will for the duration of this examination. Uh, and at this stage, Adelaide Road remains closed. Uh, we continually uh, review the road closures for Adelaide Road because we understand the, uh, the impact that it has on local residents. Uh, however, I'm sure we all understand the significance of this investigation. Thank you. Are your investigation claims an earlier couch fire reignited? And what do you know about those claims? Uh, as I said earlier, uh, we are treating it as an arson. I'm not prepared to say why or the reasons for us treating it as an arson other than to say um, that we are. So what, when your team entered to do the recon, was it this afternoon? Yes, it was. Yeah. Um, what, did, what was the scene like inside? What did they report back to you about what it's like? As, they, as we're speaking now, they're still inside the building. I can say, uh, having seen some early photographs, uh, that the damage is extensive. That in some of the floors, uh, and on the third floor in particular, the roof has collapsed, and that in places on the floor, a uh, pile of debris and burnt debris is stacked um, as high as one metre. I have no comment to make on whether accelerant is part of the um, uh, of the cause of the fire, uh, and I don't know that for sure. Are police speaking to you uh, like this in relation to the arson? Uh, because it is an arson investigation, we do have a list of people that we want to speak to. Um, I'm not prepared to say uh, who they are or where they are. However, uh, our investigation teams are working rapidly uh, on that. How many are the so there are active suspects at working in this case? Well, it's an arson inquiry, so yes, we are going to identify some suspects or some people of interest that we want to speak to 
uh, and that list of how big they are will be determined also by the ongoing inquiries that we make. Has anyone been arrested? Nobody's been arrested. Is there going to be a separate investigation into her building as opposed to the CIB investigation? That's not a, that's not a question that police can answer. Can you show progress as to the reconciliation effort between the people that are unaccounted for? Yeah, absolutely. So um, our reconciliation teams uh, have been working uh, fast and accurately today. I can say that we have accounted for 92 people um, and that the number uh, still to be accounted for is less than 20. And I won't be accurate with that. Does that 92 include the scenes? That's accounted for people. So the scene examination um, will determine if there are deceased, how many there are and who they are. So no. So no. Could you just speak us through the plan for um, police over the next few days while this um, inquiry continues and the scene examination continues? Uh, we'll have an extensive scene examination going through the building and we'll have part of our investigation team um, searching through and looking for our uh, suspects. Can police Thanks, report sir. that there are multiple ignition points? No, we can't confirm that. The examination uh, hasn't um, hasn't been completed, and uh, uh, we can't say that. Are police able to confirm whether or not the bodies are still inside of the building, or have they been removed? No, they still lie in situ, uh, and I, I'll reiterate that we still haven't been able to confirm the number. How likely is it that you'll find more bodies? Have you been able to access uh, so part of the reason for the reconnaissance this afternoon is to give us uh, a more accurate indication of um, where we should be focusing our examination, how extensive it needs to be, um, and uh, whether or not um, we can identify the number of um, deceased in there. And, and so what have you learned from that? Is there a particular part of the hospital that you're focusing on? Uh, I can't say because at the moment the reconnaissance is still underway now. Our team is still in the building uh, so as what, we what, speak. What hours are you pulling inside the building the uh, So there's no power going to the building, uh, obviously, so uh, during daylight hours uh, is the obvious. And we'll make a determination over the coming days of whether or not we need to, uh, how long we need to work, because as you can imagine too, uh, our staff welfare is important and... Uh, being inside that environment for exposing them inside that environment for a length of time um, comes with its own risks. Can How police confirm whether the fire was called in or whether um, emergency services were alerted by alarms? Uh, I can say that a call was made to FENS. I don't know the detail of that. Yes, um, because it's an arson and there are deaths involved, uh, it is a homicide Do inquiry. Do you have an appeal to go on for That's a good question, absolutely. Um, if there is anyone uh, with information uh, that will assist our inquiry, um, please contact us, um, either in person through the 10-5 line uh, or make yourself known to... There are many support agencies and they can put you in touch with us. How many police are working on the recon mission? Uh, so the recon team that's in the building now is small. However, the examination and investigation team who will go through the building is quite extensive. Um, sorry. Uh, and as you can imagine, um, the more staff that we expose uh, to that environment... Uh, creates a risk for us, so we manage um, who we put in and how many we put in at any one time so that we can sustain the examination over the coming days. You talked about persons of interest. Are they residents from the building or are they people whose records are perhaps available of interest? Oh, I can't comment on the persons of interest. Were Thank police you. upset when the Mayor initially said that the fire was not suspicious? I'm not aware of the Mayor's comment on that and no. Could you, could you speak a little bit just to the mental toll that this might have on police officers? Uh, well, as you can imagine, uh, the task that they're about to undertake is grim. Uh, we have welfare support for our staff uh, in place. Uh, and I'd 
say equally for our Finns uh, colleagues as well. Um, and are you do still need to be concerned about asbestos on the NFI? Uh, sorry, repeat the Obviously, yesterday we were asked to wear masks in yes. Newtown. Is that still an issue with asbestos and is still an issue for the community? So yesterday afternoon, um, a council had arranged for any asbestos, um, loose asbestos on the ground, uh, to be cleaned. As part of our handover with um, Foreign Emergency New Zealand today is um, discussing the asbestos um, uh, issue. Uh, we are assured that it is safe for us to work in and around there, and so equally... Um, being in that proximity is okay. However, should there be any change to that situation, um, then we'll be coming out to the public straight away as well. Could you speak to the plans um, in place for the residents who have lost their houses? Is that something police are working on? That's something that the council have taken the lead on, and they'd be best to answer that. We do think so. Is it like you think? I. Well, as it stands, um, it's still at six, and I'm reliant on uh, the reconnaissance and then the subsequent examination. Before I can answer that accurately, uh, gut feeling is yes, it, it may climb. However, without that confirmation from the examination, um, it would be irresponsible of me to say that. So when do you think you might be able to confirm the identities of the victims? Uh, as the coroner said yesterday, this is going to be a slow process and um, I, I, I would be reluctant to give you a time frame. Um, as you can imagine, um, it's going to take a number of days for the examination and the retrieval of the deceased from there and then the subsequent um, post-mortem procedures. And that would be a... Uh, a question that the coroner's office would be more likely to answer than police. What's the higher priority? Is it scanning the entirety of the four bodies or is it the retrieval of the bodies that are uh, the, Well, the first priority is making sure that it's safe for our staff to work in, obviously. The, the second, uh, as part of the reconnaissance, is to identify the areas uh, that are most likely that we might find some deceased and then retrieving them. Okay, thanks, Thank you.